Hello, good afternoon. My name is Frank Thring, and it's my great pleasure to be here this afternoon with the Letter Ocean. Hi, Frank. Hi, private fans. <laughs> now, Letter, you are truly a private porn legend. I mean, you are, uh, I can say this safely, the biggest star in Europe. Now, you got into this business when you were 20, is that right? Uh, when I was 19. 19? Exactly, 19. yes, in 2007. Uh huh. Okay. Now, I read somewhere, I think on the internet somewhere, that um, you got into the porn business because of a boyfriend. Is that right? Tell us the story. Uh, well, it's correct. Um, I started porn because of uh, a guy. I met him in 2000. I don't remember exactly. <laughs> I think it was 2006. Uh huh. And he told me he's an event organizer. Mm -hmm. And every Saturday he cancelled our meeting. <laughs> so I was a bit, uh, you know, I was worrying. And, and I googled his name and it came out that he's a stripper. Oh, yes. So after I told him, I know everything, so you don't need to lie to me. Um, and after a few weeks, I asked him, have you ever did some porn? And he said, yes, I did. And I was so disappointed because I was a young girl um, and I didn't expect something like this. Sure. So after one year, I started porn uh -huh. and it was like a revenge. <laughs> <laughs> it was a revenge, I uh -huh. think. Oh, oh, interesting. Yeah. Good story there. <laughs> um, in 2007, you made your first movie for private and they tell me it was called Sixth Element, directed by Milk. Uh, can you remember anything about it? Uh, yes, I remember. We did that shooting in 2007, August, I mm -hmm. think. Mm -hmm. And it was a very long shooting. I think it took like seven days or mm -hmm. something. Uh, I remember it was a very, very long week uh -huh. because we were shooting from 9 a.m. until 9 p.m. Uh -huh. And we did a lot of actions, um, many good stuff. Uh -huh. Yeah. Good, all right. So it was a good start. It was a very good start. All right. Yeah. Um, you just told us about this uh, boyfriend thing and about, uh, about uh, this guy. That's, um, but what motivated you to become a porn actress? I mean, I guess you are an exhibitionist, right? I mean, you like guys staring at you, or you don't mind guys staring at you. What was the motivation? Yes. For me? Uh, well, this ex-boyfriend was a great motivation, Sure. first of all. Secondly, I think I was always an exhibitionist in my life. Uh -huh. I mean, for me it's not a problem, take off all my clothes uh -huh. and showing myself. Uh -huh. uh, and what else? But I don't think there is any other thing. But let me ask you, I mean, I'll put this also a little bit more crudely maybe, I mean, around the world, Tonight, as we talk, as people are watching this, <laughs> there are probably thousands, not hundreds, thousands of guys stroking off, <laughs> shooting a load, thinking of you. Yeah. Does the idea that men get turned on by you, uh, not just on set, but you know, in the private privacy of their homes, and uh, you know, shooting their gum everywhere just for a letter ocean, <laughs> do you like this idea? Well, it's a big turn on for me. Is it? Yeah, every time I think about it, it's a, it's a huge turn on. So for me, it's a big advantage yeah. of porn. Good, yeah. good. I mean, I'm old enough to be a grandfather, and I've, I've even I've jacked off thinking of a letter ocean, <laughs> so you know, be, be, you know, you are something special. Um, of course, we know you must love sex. Um, can you tell us, I mean, if, if possible, uh, the first time you ever had sex, was it a good experience or was it a bad one? What was it like? Well, uh, the very first sex experience, it was in 2006 when I was 18. Uh -huh. So you waited till you were 18. Good I was girl. waiting until good the girl. age of 18 uh, and I didn't say anything uh, to the guy, so I was lying. <laughs> and when we had sex, I told him, sorry, I'm virgin. I've never had sex before, so it's my very first time. <laughs> but um, as a conclusion, I think it was a great experience. <laughs> well, clearly you wanted nice to do guy. it again. He was a nice guy. <laughs> he was very understanding. <laughs> he was a very good looking uh, a tennis player. Oh, wow. Yeah. Nice. You picked a good one there yeah. to start with. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Um, 
Of course, people often wonder uh, about uh, the money in porn, and I know you work a lot. Can you become a millionaire shooting porn? I mean, you can. You can. Yes, you can. You can. You know, because if you are a millionaire, you can give me a little because I'm just a poor porn director, you know. But <laughs> but you know, but it, it, you it, always it, have to work hard. You have to work hard, and though. then you can. But you, you, you I hope you've money. watched your money kind of go up and up and up, and you, you're, you're making good money, I hope, yes? Well, I think it's a normal procedure that uh, if you do something and you are good at it, every year you can, uh, you know, you can higher your price. Sure. Yeah. yeah. How many awards have you got since you started, do you know? I think I got only two AVN awards in 2010. Uh -huh. At the same time, I got two uh -huh. awards. And any in Europe that, that stick in your mind? Have you been in anywhere? Mm, I don't think you so. Don't, you don't think no. so. Uh -huh. well, let's I was nominated yeah, a indeed, few times, indeed. but uh, I didn't win. Sure, okay. Now, I don't know if she's actually, I think she's now completely out of porn, but there was recently an American porn star, Sasha Gray, who... Um, uh, moved very successfully from doing actually quite hard porn. She liked gangbang, she liked extreme sex, and she moved very successfully from that into mainstream movies. She's been in some smaller parts, of course, but she's been very much in some really good films. If somebody asked you and said, Aletta, you know, you, you're a very beautiful girl, we'd like to start putting you in, in smaller roles, maybe in big movies with big stars, would you like your career to go that way? Would you be happy? Well, of course, I would love to do uh, a mainstream movie, but at the same time, I, I, I deeply believe that you need to learn everything. So it's not like uh, you just go and you are a big star in a Hollywood movie. You really need to learn acting mm -hmm. properly. Mm -hmm. Even if you have some talent, you need to learn Very a lot. Very true. Very true. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And also the English. My English is not great. Uh, every year is better but and better. But he's sexy, you know, he's very sexy. It's sexy. English. <laughs> <laughs> if it's sexy, then it's good. Many people say it's very sexy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like a vampire. It, it like is a bit. Well, you know, I always say as a director <laughs> that I love Hungarians because they always sound a little bit like Bela Lugosi, you know, a little bit <laughs> like that. And it's very sexy in the English ear. We find this very sexy. And, and I you, have a deep voice. And you have a slightly, I was going to say that, you, you don't have a high voice, you have a slightly deep voice. So you could do the, uh, the femme fatale yeah. and you could do the seductress <laughs> very well. Um, look, in these eight years, you've done, or we seem to think you've done at least 200 movies. Um, what's the strangest scene you've ever had to do? Is there anything that sticks in your mind? Well, um, I did many strange movies <laughs> in the eight years, but uh, if I just mention one which was the strangest, I'm sure it was a uh, scene in Spain. Yeah. I did in Madrid. Yeah. And it was for Torbe, mm -hmm. the Spanish director. And he was wearing a very strange uh, outfit. I think he was a monk. A monk, yeah. A monk. Yeah, yeah. And I was a young student and he was slapping my ass and he did uh, strange uh, things with me. And I think that was the, <laughs> the funniest, the most bizarre <laughs> scene I ever did. Yeah. Um, in 2007, when you're relatively new in the business, um, we went off together, you and I, for private, uh, to a castle in uh, southwest France. And um, uh, you shot there a lesbian scene, I remember, with Sapphira. Oh, yes. Uh, outside, I think we did it at sort of sunset as light was going down. Can you remember anything about the trip or anything about, about Sapphira? Um, I remember it was in uh, September, yep. 2007, Correct. September. My memory is great. Very good on that, <laughs> it's I have very to tell sharp. You. <laughs> and it was in an old castle. I think it was South France. Yes, somewhere. Southwest France it was. Um, and we were shooting outside under a tree. That's right. Or something. Very good. Yeah, I remember she's a very beautiful girl. She's very so beautiful. It's yeah. impossible to yeah. forget yeah. her. Yeah, yeah, she's she's cute. I can I actually I must add a little story here because this may make you laugh. But um, we shot in the last week of September, and um, apparently in that part of France the weather changes. We you know you can start to go from yeah. from summer to to autumn. And the weather was changing, and um, I remember that as it got colder in the week, suddenly we were getting lots of little Mediterranean scorpions coming into the castle. 
So when we were directing, I was always worried when all the talent were nude and they're having sex, that suddenly a little, a little scorpion that could give you a very nasty bite would come running along the carpet or something, and girls would go, ah! And so, you know, it was something I'll never forget, that, you know, there's, it's one thing to have to shoot the movie, the next thing is to worry about scorpions. But anyway, <laughs> let's move on. Um, Spanish director Tony Ribas has worked with you for private, probably more than anybody else. Um, what's it like working with Tony? Well, he's a very nice, very handsome guy. I love to work. I love to work with him. He's very professional, absolutely great performer. Uh -huh. yeah. And we've been shooting many times together in the past. Well, in June 2007, uh, you made a point of view movie with him, a POV, called Audition. Um, so it must have been the first time we'd worked together. Well, um, were you nervous on that day? Um, I don't remember this scene, unfortunately, this uh, POV scene. Uh huh. Doesn't ring a bell. Doesn't ring a bell. No. Uh, have you ever been nervous working with Tony? Uh, maybe the first time. Yeah. The yes. very first time I was nervous. I think. Um, then he wanted to put you in some more productions, and he asked Private, and you did one movie in which, uh, if you remember it at all. Um, uh, he's sick at home, and you played a nurse. Oh yes, I remember. Remember that? Remember that? Yeah, it was in Barcelona, uh -huh. and uh, he was a very sick person at home. I was the nurse, and of course, after ten minutes, he felt better. Uh -huh. Made a movie for private called, I think, Cherry Jewels Extreme Gangbang. It was directed by Christoph Clark, and uh, I think probably now. He'll there's some pictures going up on the screen of this. <laughs> and I noticed a picture where you are doing a gangbang, a uh, lesbian gangbang, with about eight or nine other girls. Oh, yes. So, do you like girls? Do you like lesbian scenes? Well, uh, I am very honest. I like only really, really beautiful girls. But uh, generally, I cannot say I'm a lesbian. But I can do I can do girl girl scenes, but of course I prefer boy girl. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But in your private life, you wouldn't sort of rush off to do a you know do, to do another girl. Mm, sometimes I don't mind doing a threesome with somebody. But have I you had private threesomes? Uh, yes, I had a few times. Yeah. yeah. But what what about just you and another girl though? No. That wouldn't no, really no, be your that thing. That wouldn't work. No. That wouldn't your thing. No. That's interesting to know. Um, in two thousand eight. You went from um, 30, uh, you went to f your first boo job, which I think was um, uh, from a uh, 34C. Then you went to a D, and in 2010, January, you went to a double D. Mm -hmm. um, are you happy with your boobs? I'm absolutely happy. I would never change them again. Uh, it's my final size, I think. I'm absolutely satisfied with them. Um, Did you have them done here in Hungary or...? In Hungary, uh -huh. yes. Uh -huh. I have a very, very good surgeon. Uh -huh. And every time I would like to do something, I, I go to him. And have you had any, um, any lip surgery or buttock surgery or <laughs> anything else at all, you know? Well... Um, I had other surgeries yeah. as well uh -huh. on my face, on my body. Uh -huh. yeah. And this is just a normal man's question. Does it hurt? I mean, is it painful? Well, normally it's, uh, it doesn't hurt because you get a lot of painkillers after. <laughs> I'm so glad about that. Because you get a lot of painkillers, you don't feel the pain. But yeah. of course, uh, after a few days, you feel a bit weak uh -huh. and you, you don't feel really great. Uh, but th uh, there was a big dream. I wanted to remove my ribs. Your ribs? My ribs. And I was visiting uh, many different doctors, and everybody say, no, it's not possible. Uh, and I got one telephone number, and this guy works in Hungary. So I visited him, and he also sent me away, because he told me it's a very dangerous uh -huh. procedure. So you haven't had the rib steak? Right? I don't have, no. Okay, fair enough. I'm rather happy about that, actually, yes. for you. I'd like you to keep your ribs. You never know, they could be useful. <laughs> yeah, it's way too risky. <laughs> I so think so, uh, I think yeah. so. Um, but having the surgery, is it rewarding? It is, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Um, now I'm satisfied with my look. Uh, eight years ago, I couldn't say the same. 
In 2007, I knew I'm a good looking girl, but inside I always knew I would like to be, I would like to look really hot and I'm going to do everything. So when, when, so when you get up some mornings and you do a selfie or something, you go, fuck, I look good. Is that, I mean, is that what is happening? <laughs> fuck, I'm looking pretty hot today. Yeah? And it's really strange. Many people say if you do surgery, you can never stop. You will or yeah, this always is what find heard. something you want to change. You want to do more and more. But every year I realize I don't want to do anything else because now I'm satisfied with my look. Um, I'm really happy. Of course, when, um, when I will be older, I need to do other things like, uh, I don't know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like uh, something on my face, yeah. but some botox. We worry about that when the time yes. comes, yeah. Do you, what would you suggest to other women? Do you think it's a good idea for other women maybe to do it? I mean, how would you, how would you, what would you tell a girlfriend about it? Uh, everybody needs to feel inside. If you don't feel you would like to change anything, then just don't do anything. But uh, if you feel you would like to look uh, better or you feel you are not that great, uh, then I can recommend a plastic surgeon. <laughs> okay, very good. Um, everybody is different. Uh, indeed, absolutely. Um, maybe on a personal note just for a minute, one or two quick personal questions. I mean, um, do you have a boyfriend? I do. Okay. Um, have you been together long or is this recent or? Well, um, I think we met in South France on that shooting in 2007. Indeed September. you did. Yes. Indeed you did. Yes. Um, he also works as a director. Uh -huh. director. And he's been in the business quite a long time. Yeah, I think he has been in the business for, I don't know, 15 years, uh -huh. Uh -huh. 20 years. Yeah, absolutely. And. Um, uh, is he the jealous type? Does he mind you getting fucked by all these guys? No, not at all. He's a very, he always gives me freedom and I like it so much because uh, he never jealous, he never asked me where I'm going. He just let me do my things and I appreciate it. Exactly. And also do you, when you come home from work, you know, you've had a hard day yeah. and you've just done that anal scene with, with you know, <laughs> with Rocco or with, with, with Tony Rebus or somebody. Yeah. Do you talk about work together, what he's done, what you've done, or is that something else? That's work and your private life is just your private life. It's also something I really, really love in him that we can talk about everything. When I go home, we can talk about my business, his business, what happened on the shooting with the girls. Uh, also, I can say everything, okay, I was working with this guy, this location, the scene was great. So I can tell details, mm -hmm. which is very important. That's cool. That's if good. you cannot speak about something, it's, uh, it's not it's good. It's not so good, yeah. Well, it's a great open relationship. Yeah, Sounds a very good one. It's an open relationship, um, yeah. Are you the possessive type? Do you get possessive with, with you know, as far as he's concerned? <laughs> I, mean, you know, I mean, he's a good looking guy. If girls sort of take an interest, do you get possessive? Well, uh, I am the jealous type. Are you? Yes, I really? am. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I am more jealous than people think. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Really? Yeah, I don't believe this uh, true open relationship. I like when everybody has freedom, but I don't believe those kind of relationship when all the people just go anywhere, do they, having do anything. fun. It's yeah. not love, it's uh -huh. something else. It's true. It's just fun. That's true. Do you um, want to have uh, children? Do you want to have a family? It's in my five, eight years plan. <laughs> five, yeah, eight I years would plan. say five, eight yeah, years yeah, yeah, plan. Yeah. So you've yeah. got to work a little longer yet. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. <laughs> now, let's start talking about sex because I just love talking about sex. <laughs> so let's start talking about sex. Um, do you masturbate? Of course, like every other people, I also masturbate uh -huh. sometimes when I feel horny, when I'm alone. Do you masturbate daily? Uh, I wouldn't say daily because sometimes I'm too busy or I just don't think about it. Uh -huh. uh, but sometimes I do a lot, like five times a day. <laughs> really? You masturbate five times yes, a day? Yes, yeah. and then after one week nothing. So it's always changing. And I'm just curious to know, as a man, when you masturbate, and we assume you close your eyes or you're there in the shower or wherever on the bed, do you have a fantasy in your mind when you masturbate or a particular guy? There or? is always something. Yeah? There is always something which turns me on so uh -huh. much. So 
it's always changing. Sometimes I think about uh, a guy, sometimes I think about a situation, uh -huh. sometimes I think about myself. Well, nothing, <laughs> nothing wrong in that, baby. But, uh, You're unfortunately, a very sexy it's woman. really rare. So <laughs> sometimes I think about other women, which uh -huh. makes me think maybe I'm lesbian, but um, um, it's uh, difficult. How often? This probably may sound a <laughs> stupid question, but again, it's a man's question. How often do you like to have sex? I mean, do you want it daily? Do you want it twice a day? Do you, do you three times a week? I mean, what does a letter ocean really like? Well, uh, if I have sex uh, every day, I want more and more. Do like, you? I can have five times a, a day. Really? But at the same time, I can say if I have no sex in my life, I can live. So like if this. you went a few days without it, you wouldn't kind of miss it and you could go on. But suddenly if you do a really great scene and then shortly another great scene, you'd like to have some more. Yes, and some I more. would like more. It's very uh -huh. addictive. Yeah. I'm like that with food, actually, because <laughs> I don't get the sex. But anyway, um, <laughs> fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> um, what about uh, toys? We just said you masturbate. Do you have a favorite sex toy or something? I have some uh, dildos at home, uh -huh. but I don't use them too much. No? No. Use your finger maybe? Or? Yeah, finger. <laughs> you know, shower head, you know. Shower, everything. Yeah, well. Sometimes I use, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, dildos. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Interesting. Um, do you have um, maybe a sexual fantasy you still haven't done on camera or something that sort of makes you get horny when you think about it? Well, um, it's still my fantasy to do a ten boy gangbang wow. scene or a ten boy bukkake scene. Really? Yeah. Something really dirty. Oh, I see. Something really, really perverse. Yes. I I'm up for that any time. If she, you know, I'll be got boy ten any time. <laughs> uh, really great, good, terrific. I know she's never done any old guys as well. I throw that in as well because I'm ancient, you know. But you know, but seriously, but that that sounds nasty. Ten guys, yeah. yeah What's the like most them. you've done then? What's how many? The most you was five. 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 So it's not enough. Boring. Boring. Isn't it's it? a very boring. <laughs> I, 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 I'm. This is the private guys. Come on now, book her. I want to see her with ten guys. There you go. I'm sure there's millions out there watching today would like to see a letter <laughs> with 10 guys. <laughs> um, which brings me, I suppose, to a very easy question, really, because I can see what the answer's got to be, I think. But romantic sex, rough sex, what do you prefer? Hmm. Um, one hour ago, I thought um, I'm going to say rough sex. But inside, I know, I like romantic sex as well <laughs> sometimes. So it's a kind of mix. Uh -huh. The mix is always good. Sometimes I like rough sex when I'm in the mood, and sometimes I like more romantic sex yeah. when... Uh, not romantic sex, because I never liked the really slowly romantic sex. The, the, mix, the mix. The mix of, yeah. of the two. So you don't just like rough sex. You like, you like mm, it mixed up. The mix. There I prefer the mix, yeah. yeah. Because rough sex means, I don't know, slapping... Uh, Whatever, Choking. pulling your hair, spitting, you, yeah. know, you, know, you know. Maybe it can be too much yeah. as well, so in the middle. Um, do you have you any idea how many guys you fucked on camera? On camera, around 100. Mm -hmm. And any idea how many girls you've worked with? Any girls? And do you, do you have you any idea how many girls you've done? Oh, how many girls? Um, like 20. Uh huh, uh huh. In general, private and personal, uh, what is your kind of guy? What's an Aletta Ocean kind of guy look like? Well, I don't have a typical type. Um, every time I like something different in a guy. Sometimes I like when somebody's really handsome, good looking, hot. Sometimes I like when somebody's, I don't know, clever, intelligent, um, deep. Um, it's always a mix uh -huh. as well. Uh -huh. I cannot say I like blonde guys or, or dark, dark guys, yeah, or, dark guys uh -huh. or yeah, black guys. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. <laughs> it's always changed because there is always something you can really love in uh -huh. somebody uh -huh. or somebody's personality. And. Um, is there a, perhaps a favorite or one or two favorite guys you could say really give you a good scene every time? Uh, anybody you really like yeah, working sure. with? Who? Yeah, I like Kieran Lee, uh -huh. um, Dean Van Damme, mm -hmm. he's an English performer. Um, I like, uh, who else? Uh, there is a Brazil 
male performer. Uh -huh. I don't remember the name. Uh -huh. Kid Yamaika. Uh -huh. There are five, five, uh -huh. six really, really my favorite. Uh -huh. What about Cox? Now let's talk about Cox a minute. Is there a favorite Aletta Cox size? When I mean, you like them big, you mm. like them small, you like them in the middle, doesn't it matter? What is Aletta like? Well, maybe I'm too boring, but now I also say I like the medium. Uh -huh. Sometimes uh, the too big dick can be really painful mm -hmm. uh, and it's not that much pleasure. Uh -huh. uh, the small dick, I'm not a big fan of small dick. Uh -huh. I don't like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I like uh, being in the middle always. <laughs> and I like the nice shapely dicks, uh -huh. which is very nice, uh, nothing on it, you know, the perfect. Uh -huh. There is a perfect dick in my head. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. In my I mind. used to say, actually, that your boyfriend had a very nice cock. I used yeah, to he years has. Ago, yeah. In my opinion. The perfect Yes, cock. I used to think <laughs> so, yeah. But you can tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, um, what about sperm? I mean, these, all these guys and these 10 guy gangbangs we might yet do and everything else, they're all showering you with sperm. Uh, <laughs> some girls say it tastes sweet, some say it's salty, some don't like it in their eyes. What's your attitude to sperm? It depends what the guys eat normally. Uh, if they eat a lot of uh, pineapple, their, their sperm tastes better. Uh -huh. Um, I have no problem with sperm. I like everywhere on my face, on my teeth, in my pussy, in my mouth. I have no problem. Th this is good because I like to see sperm all over a letter's face, personally. But Even I like in my eyes. Uh, in the nicest possible There is way. a nice <laughs> magic, uh, you know, when it's in my eyes. And oh after God. it's all red. <laughs> And for, that's ma for an well, hour. You're the first model I've ever talked to who says that's magical because normally they go, I hate it, I hate it. It's magical <laughs> because when I go out to the street, nobody knows why my eyes are so red <laughs> and I know. Ah, I see, bad girl. <laughs> what about uh, anal sex? We were just talking about it. You've done a lot of anal scenes. You've done a lot of DPs. Yes, a lot. Um, do you prepare well in advance? Is there a technique you use? Um, do, you do you like anal sex for a start? Uh, at the beginning, I didn't like anal, but now I can say I do love anal because the orgasm can be much uh, intensive, much uh, stronger mm -hmm. than the vaginal mm -hmm. orgasm. Mm -hmm. uh, the only thing I don't like anal is because the preparation before. I cannot eat anything. I need to look after what I eat exactly. I, sometimes I need to take some medicine. Not strong medicine, but something to make my system mm -hmm. keep clear. Mm -hmm. um, and after, of course, the douche. <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny. Sometimes I get some email from girls. How do you make your ass so clean for mm -hmm. the scenes? Mm -hmm. um, it's a long procedure, and I'm not sure they would like it mm -hmm. if I send them the answer. And what about the nasty stuff like, you know, ass to mouth and stuff like this? I mean, it's okay? The, which like, you know, when you have to do ass to mouth and you're going to suck it from the um, asshole. And I'm not a big fan of, because of course we cannot do 100%, uh -huh. you know, down there. So I prefer like... Uh, just a good straight yeah, just a, Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And what about a DP? Do you prefer an anal scene, you and a guy, or do you prefer a DP scene? I prefer two? DP. DP is uh, amazing. Is it? Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. It's much better than anal. Uh-huh. I feel like I'm stuffed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if it's Tony Rebass and Rocco or something, you probably are a Steve Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was talking to a guy a couple of years ago in the business, a uh, stud, I won't say who, it doesn't matter, and he was saying, you know, um, a letter with the big boobs, and the sort of strong look and the dark hair and the deep voice. I would love to see her do a fetish scene, a real fetish scene, uh, and maybe whip a guy or tie up a guy or really dominate someone. And yet, as you just said, you, you know, obviously if you're doing a 10 guy gangbang, they're all, if you like, on you. Uh, uh, so could you do or would you like to try uh, what I call serious s and M? I I mean, could you do strong fetish? Well, I can uh, absolutely understand these people because uh, it's true I have deep voice and I have the physique which really good for uh, which really fits for a scene like this. 
But to be honest, I prefer like to be in the submissive role. Uh -huh. I don't like to be in the domina that much uh -huh. than uh -huh. people think. Uh -huh. I prefer like to be, you know, slapped. Uh, but let know. me ask, Casey, on submissive stuff, um, of course you get slapped, you know, maybe they slap your ass, maybe they slap your face. Do you ever worry about bruises, pain, getting slapped, or is it just the turn on, you get into it and you forget all of that? Well, during the sex, I don't feel any pain. Uh, so sometimes the next morning, when I look at the mirror, I'm surprised <laughs> what happened the last <laughs> night. I'm bruised, I have a lot of bruise. Uh, my face green and blue, you know, I need to put some foundation. Um, but during the sex, I never feel pain. Uh -huh. I don't know why, probably it's something in the brain, some... Um, and uh, in these big scenes, um, well, I guess you're gonna tell me that you have orgasmed on camera, yeah? Do you, yes. You orgasm quite, you can orgasm anal sex and normal sex. And yeah? normal sex, yes. Um, in fact, do you prefer to have an orgasm in a sex scene or doesn't it, you know, how does it, do you, do you like to have an orgasm on camera? Mm, yeah, of course, why yeah. not? It's just sex, it's the same like in private life. Uh -huh. uh, of course, not every time I have orgasm. I would say 50%. Oh, really? That's, yeah. that's cool, that's good. And it's good that you can relax that much. Yes. Uh -huh. Do you squirt at all? I can squirt, can yeah. you? But only with two or three guys. Uh -huh. Mike Angelo and uh, David Perry. Uh -huh. Who else? Only th three, four guys can squirt me. Uh -huh. I don't know, there is a technique which is really difficult. Is there? It's really difficult. <laughs> Many people try it, but only these guys can do. Do you have, well actually for the future, what, what's, what's coming up, Aletta? I mean, what, what, what are we going to be seeing of you in the future? You, you're still in the business, you're still yeah. working. Uh, uh, we're going to do that 10 guy gangbang <laughs> in private. So, um, uh, well, uh, I still do porn and in the next five, six, seven, I don't know how many years I'm going to still do porn. Of course, not as, ma as many porn as I did before, because now I like my life more relaxing. And also I would like my own website again. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I'm going to do more feature dancing in the future. More feature dancing? Yes. Uh -huh. Internationally, yeah. Internationally, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I'm sure they love you in the States for that. You yeah. Know, absolutely, okay. Well, it's been really nice talking to you. Um, we're going to leave you this afternoon with uh, a scene from a uh, um, private movie called Party Babes, uh, directed by Alejandro Winterthur. I hope I've said his name right, Alejandro. Um, and um, I personally must say thank you very much, Aletta, for, for talking to us. Thank you.